<laughs> Hi everybody, uh, I'm Donna. Hi, I'm Steve. And we are Happy Heart Treasures from Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, we're a husband and wife team. We um, find undervalued goods and flip them for a profit on several different platforms. We have a booth uh, downtown called Timeless Treasures on O Street. 17th and O. And check it um, out. Check it out. And we sell on the dollar auction here in Lincoln, and we sell on eBay. So um, And Facebook Marketplace, and, as you'll see today. And Facebook Marketplace. So we want to go over a few things that we have sold this last week. And yeah, we, we filmed last a week ago. It's been a week. It's been a heck of a week. Uh, as you, if you watched the last video, you saw that we got an estate, and that basically took two days of our time. Yeah. And then last Thursday we went on a bargains for you on 92 and it was basically like a, I don't even Garage know how many miles, an hour uh, or a hundred. It's like the junk jaunt, if any of you are familiar with that. But we went from Lincoln all the way to Columbus and every town in between we hit 30 garage sales. Yeah, there was garage sales in every town. We didn't hit every town. It's a three day event, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We just went on Thursday, tried to find good deals, and we did find some yes, really good we deals. Found we some good deals. had a lot of success. Um, we do. So today we're just going to show you stuff that we have to ship out. And one of the things, one of the main things, is from that trip. So, oh, yes. so that's fun. Um, Stay tuned till the end to see what it is. Yeah, so we were just busy, real busy this weekend. Um, so we just haven't had a chance to stop and take a breath and and video anything so it's our actual first full week of normalcy um, as a reselling as normal team. as we can be yeah we had the kid all at school and there weren't any major events so it was sourcing listing sorting cleaning and as we get into a routine of doing this I know some of you may not agree but to us it's it's still exciting it's still fun and everything but this is what we do every day so we're like well it's probably not that interesting to people but I know it probably is I know a couple people for sure that's probably really interesting too so yeah so we don't want to downplay it and we want to still make videos and keep you involved it's just I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work out how often we'll make videos but you'll see us uh, every now and then maybe a couple times a week maybe once a week just whenever we feel the need to do it so the things we have going out today uh, we did just send out Saturday afternoon so this was just Saturday evening and Sunday we did a lot of dollar auction stuff this weekend had a very successful weekend on the dollar auction yeah. so that's taken up a lot of our time and so these are just things that kind of came through from eBay as we went so uh, we kind of get into these we have uh, I think 12 things on eBay and then three things from Facebook marketplace to show you and then we got to get them packaged up and shipped out today so they get to their happy new homes okay. so First up, we have a pair of shoes. A pair of Keens. They're Keens hiking, walking shoes. Uh, Keen is a great, great brand. Um, and those sold for, they were listed for 30. We, they are, somebody sent an offer for 25, so we took it, so $25. All of our items, we always do plus shipping. We don't do free shipping. We've explained why in the past. Watch this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, these chairs rock back and so you big may, dummy you may see a little more of that i don't know we'll see uh, next up there there was a we did a star wars buy that was a video a long time ago and we have a few things left listed on on ebay and so this one sold and it is uh the spirit set the power of the force jedi spirit set and uh somebody sent an offer for ten dollars for that and we just took it um, so that is paid and going bye bye and it's nice once you've made good money on a listing or a set because then you can take lower offers just to move it out the door so it's great yes. so uh, next up is a cabinet card photo and this is a four and a half by six and a half uh, just an old these photograph. are these are fairly new to us um, came from one of our friends we're selling vintage ephemera for. Um, cabinet card photos are thicker. They're like mounted on cardboard, but they do sell for whatever reason. I'm not sure what people do with them, but um, this sold for $6. $6. So that's going bye bye. Next up, Rumpel Stiltskin. 
2005 DVD, still new in package. And this was from the original DVD lot we got off Facebook Marketplace where we paid 43 cents a movie and this sold for $14.99. So Yay. that's leaving. And next up we oh. got this little Russ, Russ, Love, Rusty Puppy. This is from my friend Wanda. So Wanda, if you're watching this video, he's going to his next new home. This is Rusty. Yep, and he is a collectible beanbag. And he paid, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he, that sounded dumb. Um, that's fine. Okay. And he sold for $24, yeah. and so he's going to his next home. Next up, a book we got in the garage sale buyout a long time ago. Um, from a college student. Yeah. The book is Mesmerizing Pharmacology, A Relaxed Approach. <laughs> so it doesn't sound it relaxing to me, but... Sounds difficult, looks difficult, yeah. So. But easily enough, it's sending out for $12. Yes. Uh, $12. Next. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Totally transparent. Um, yeah. ne next we, up. <laughs> we sold a video. And um, Steve's going to show you. show you the picture of the video. Which one it is. And... Wub, wub Idol. The Wubsies. Wub, wubba Wubba show Wubsies. Them. I'm not sure. Exactly Beyonce. If you can see that. If it's zooming in. And, and the issue with this video is we can't find it. And we can't find it. So. Uh, we, <laughs> we had a <laughs> large eBay lot. Or a large lot of DVDs that we bought. I mean, a very large lot. And over the weekend, we kind of got tired of looking at them everywhere. So we sold a over couple weekend, large lots to yeah. two people here in Lincoln. And we think there was a box of DVDs that this was in that were listed that got mixed in with one of the two one lots. One of the we two sold. lots we sold. So I've messaged one of the gals to see if she can check for me to see if it's still there. Yeah. And, and I might message the other person that I sold to. Um, so we're going to see if we can locate it. It was then, during the shuffle of moving, yeah, moving downstairs. Everything. And so we are recording in our basement right now. But um, apparently all the DVDs didn't make it with us. Yeah, I think it was a small box, I think. But So now what we're going to have to do is by by seeing what where this one's listed that it's at because you can put in where it's at. We're going to have to go through all of our DVDs listed and see what other ones have that same home, and we're going to have to take them off because I do believe they are gone. So we're going to try to locate this Maybe. one, and then we'll have to go through the process of getting rid of the rest of them if there's more. So uh, whatever. So anyway, Next. that's not going out. It was going to go out, but it's not yet. Yet. Next up, vintage golden seven-piece vanity set. We've had this for quite a little while. This came from the buyout um, on Good, Good Friday. Friday. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. But it is basically a vanity... Don't... This is glass! You'll br it's basically a vanity set. You would never drop it. You're sure hands. With the brush. The shoe brush. And all the little pieces. Yeah, so a seven piece vanity set. Uh, had it since Easter basically, about that time. And it sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Plus shipping, see? Plus shipping. All right, okay. next up, my mother will appreciate this one. It is a album and it is ABBA. ABBA. Or ABBA. ABBA. Or ABBA. No. Or ABBA. -ba. It's Super, Super Trooper. Trooper. <laughs> so, uh, that is going out the door at $12.99. Someone paid that for that. Okay. Uh, next up is a great sale for the day. Let's just do those two first because that's heavy. I can lift okay. it. Okay. All right. She can lift can it, she lift says. I can lift it. If you remember on our uh, out of town shopping spree, oh, garage sailing, it's fine. we got this Geneva stereo and we paid $10 for it. It comes with a remote and all the cords and everything. Paid $10 for it, and 
it was sitting on eBay, had a lot of interest, a lot of watchers, and so where are the cords? I lowered for? the price. There? They're all on the over there. Oh, okay. And so it was just kind of sitting with a lot of watchers. So I thought, you know what? Let's lower it a little bit, and I'll bet you somebody jumps on it. And so I lowered it to 169, and somebody sent an offer for 160. So we plus shipping, which will be about 20, 25 bucks. So we are shipping that out for $160 and we paid $10 for it at a garage sale. Oh so yay us. So that <laughs> one's fun. Always, the big ones are always fun, of course. But uh, next up, the Birdcage movie, Robin Williams, right there. That one is going out for $5.40. $5 is $5, as the nurse flipper would say. And $5.40 is $5 plus 40 cents. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> the Firefly, the complete series DVD set. Um, unopened. Brand new, unopened. Doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it did sell for $8.99. So that is going out for $8.99. Okay. So that's our uh, eBay listings that we're going to send out. Now we have three items on Facebook Marketplace. So usually we just cross list okay. shoes. Uh, I list all my shoes on Marketplace too, but I only do shipping only because... Oh, I tried to tip you and <laughs> I couldn't tip you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, um, anyway. So I list cross-listed the shoes on Marketplace and I just do shipping only because I don't like dealing with local Marketplace because people want to buy stuff and then they don't show up. It's a common it's practice just everywhere. It's hard so, to do sometimes. So, so. every now and then uh, they they come through and get purchased on marketplace it actually we probably sold more than half our shoes on marketplace honestly um so this pair of rikas let me see where we got it didn't say i think From we the got bins. these in the bins i'm pretty sure we got these in the bins so judging their weight we probably paid about a dollar for them we had them listed for a long time this is one of the first things we listed on ebay yeah. and uh i got an offer i got a lady messaged me and she said with shipping i'll only pay plus shipping $11 and it was listed for like $16.99 and at this point I was like sounds good you're yours so uh we He's get to get rid of them patient sometimes. well not very patient this was probably <laughs> last September we listed them we'll almost, a year ago. almost a year ago yeah. <laughs> last winter for sure so yeah you got to move the old inventory yeah. it's sitting in these boxes they're just taking up space. They're not making us any money. So, hey, we only paid about a dollar, sold for 11 Good job. And Marketplace fees are less, too. They only pay 5% fees on Marketplace. So, ends up being still over $10. So, over $9 profit after the dollar we paid for them. So, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> next up, you saw these uh, not too long ago. A pair of Hoka's. You may have seen these, I think. Our first pair of Hoka's. First pair of Hoka's we found at a garage sale. They're pretty dirty. We cleaned them up. I thought they turned out Steve a little cleaner. Cleaned them up. I thought they came out a little cleaner than they actually did after they dried. You can still see like the just the dirt on the toes. Um, so I pointed that out really clearly in the listings and everything. But hey, you know what? We paid ten dollars for them. Sold them on Marketplace for fifty four dollars. So nice. So they are going out today. And last up, this was a little fun story. This is from our garage sale that we drove all the way to Columbus Grun Garage Sales. Um, bargains on 92. Bargains on 90, bargains for you on 92. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> so we'll show you what it is and then we'll tell you a little story. So we paid $3 for this. I found this under a table at a garage sale. It's one of the best garage sales we hit. They just had, they wanted to get rid of everything. And this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. It's upside down. It upside? I was looking because I thought that's probably upside down. Okay, sorry. Here we go again. <laughs> so, this is a beautiful, if there's a such thing as a beautiful uh, video game controller, this is it. Corn is one of my favorite bands. It's the last band I saw before COVID hit, like February, I think like 18th last year. A so, it was like the day ago. before COVID or something. Yeah. Saw Corn here in Lincoln and I saw this in a box and. I've never seen it before. I didn't know they made these. Um, so anyway, I saw it and the design on there, it's like all this cool stuff, right? And it's got like the signatures. So I put it on, I don't know, I, as far as sold comps, there's not many listed, not many sold, but there's more that sold that have listed. And they're anywhere from like $20 to like $120. So I didn't know what to do with it for sure. So I thought, let's shoot high. So I put it at $90. And then I cross-posted cross it. Um, 
it had like I just did this last night and it had like five watches already so then I listed it on e, uh, marketplace also and this morning so here's a fun story so <laughs> I get a message this morning from a girl on Facebook marketplace and she says does everything work because it comes with this and then the dongle is the thing that connects it to you plug it in it's over there um, and I said yeah it it does everything works she says would you take 70 and I have it listed at 89 paid three dollars for it so keep that in mind that was awesome so I was sitting down here working and I thought well let's have a little fun all right finish your story all right um Somebody came to the door, actually someone, a uh, niece of our neighbor that's bringing clothes over for Donna to sell now too. So I'm going to finish my story, otherwise I'll lose my train of thought because I do that a lot. So I sent her the message back and she says, will you take $70? And I responded back, I tell you what, I'm going to pull it up and make sure I get this right because... All right, so this girl messages me and she says, would you take 70? And I was sitting here and I'm okay for taking 70 because literally I paid $3 for it, right? But I'm like, well, let's have some fun with this. So I messaged her. I said, okay, an easy corn question. Yeah, if you get it right, I'll take 70. If not, I'll take 75. You have to answer somewhat quickly so I know you didn't look it up. Are you ready? And first... I didn't think she'd get it right because the term are you ready is the opening line to one of their biggest hits that they have like it's very popular i would try to replicate how he sings that phrase but it would just come off horrible so she says um okay lol <laughs> so then i thought probably not a huge corn fan she's probably not gonna get it right but i did a really easy one so for all you playing to get along at home let's see if you know and i told her uh yeah you have to answer somewhat quickly so i know you didn't look it up so i gave her i was gonna give her like two three seconds to answer and if she didn't answer then i was gonna charge her 75 dollars because you know it's fun and i said the title of the corn song with nursery rhyme references in it do you know the answer do you know the answer within two three seconds and fortunately for her right away she sent me a message and said shoots and ladders and i was like sweet i said 70 dollars it is and she she says yay lol and i said send me an offer for 70 dollars. i'll accept it and she said okay with a smiley face i said sorry i just sound it just sounded like fun to do that and she said you that you are good that was awesome made me smile so um that was fun and she obviously is a fan of the band and so now not only does she get this guitar she also messaged in later that she has been looking for this forever and she can't can't find one so i'm glad she's happy i'm happy so since she's a fan of the band i gave her a five dollar discount <laughs> and so now this goes out the door we paid three dollars for it last thursday and now it going out for seventy dollars and she paid shipping so that's fun that's awesome that's a lot of the uh, a lot of the some of the benefit of this job when you can find something and this has happened before where you can find something for somebody that they've been looking for and they can't find and it just makes their day that you have it and you know you you can get it for them so uh, I'm excited about that so I'll break this down ship this out today and she should be happy and rocking out on her new corn guitar I guess we will get Donna back in here and continue on all right, Donna is back <laughs> uh, with more stuff to sell now in yes. the garage, right? More so. stuff to sell, yeah. She was nice, right? Super nice. Super nice. Yes, it's our we neighbor's like niece, nice and it's just word of mouth. People. And our neighbor is super nice, so yes. not surprising. Um, it's just spreading word of mouth. We help people get rid of stuff like this. Um, didn't sell on their garage sale, so we're going to help them move it on along, and they help us, and we help them, and everybody's great. happy yeah that's Except the goal for you, is for everybody friend. to be happy so i'm always happy there <laughs> it is sometimes i'm always happy <laughs> yeah so anyway uh we just wanted to catch you up because it it's been a long week we've been working hard and like i said we get in a routine and then we think it's not really film worthy 
but I know some people are still interested, so... Your face is always film-worthy, honey. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, that's catching you up to where we are today. It's Monday. Once again, last night on Sunday night, I did not dread going to bed because I had to work the next morning. So we stayed up till 2. <laughs> so we actually stayed up working until midnight, 1 o'clock, and finally went to bed about 2. And yeah it's it's okay it's we slept in i feel guilty when i sleep in but usually it's because we stay up late working but right. is it is it really work when you love what you do there's a song that says sing it honey uh, now i lost I, it's gone eh, 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 i'm on <laughs> I'm vacation <laughs> every single day because i love my occupation there you go yeah it is a song yes Donna posted it on her Facebook not that long ago. If you're friends with her on Facebook, you should really find it, listen to it. it it's, it's a fun it's song. Awesome. It's, it's not a, fun a spiritual song. song, and there's one naughty word in it. Yeah, so there is a naughty sorry. word in it. Our apologies, but I wish I knew who sang it because I dirty would totally. Heads. Dirty Heads? Dirty Heads. Look up Dirty Heads. Is it called I'm on Vacation, probably? I think so. Just look up Dirty Heads, I'm on Vacation, and listen to it and listen to the words. Excuse the naughty word. Um, but listen to it because... Are we going to get a copyright because I sang their song? <laughs> don't care. Okay. We don't get paid, so it's fine. Um, anyway, look it up. It's super awesome because it's not just about, oh, I love what I do. It's about if you don't like your situation you're in, if you don't like your life... You should go and change it. Do something it. about it. Yeah. And yeah, I know it sounds easier than it actually is, but believe me, we've been doing this for four years and we finally made the jump and... You know what it's worth it it's gonna be hard at times it's gonna be easy at times it's gonna be fun a lot of the times yeah. um, but you know what do something do We're something here about it to share the joy and if you don't have joy then move to a place that gives you joy yeah find some joy find something to be happy about um, which reminds me so I, I'm gonna throw this in here real quick so after you leave a job for a couple weeks few weeks you start thinking I bet you it's better. I bet you it's gotten better. The things that you didn't like about maybe the, it's not the as drive you nuts. Bad as... And maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Not that I was second guessing anything because I enjoyed not this much more. Not that you left more. because it was bad. You right, just... right. But you just, you know, you start thinking. It's kind of like an ex, uh, ex relationship with your ex. After a matter of time, you start thinking you of all the good things and you <laughs> kind of forget about the bad things, right? Yeah. So it, it's been a month, just over a month. And so, you know, in your head, you're thinking, well, oh, you know, maybe that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And I just want to tell a quick story. And we were out doing our work our Saturday afternoon, right uh, about 11 o'clock. Pulled up to a stoplight, and one of my ex workers, co workers that I just love to death, pulled up to the stoplight next to us. And Beeped Donna used to work there too, so he honks his horn. And we rolled down the window and we're like, hey, what's up? And what he said, he's been running my old route now for the past month. And what he said was, Dude, I hate your route. And I'm like, I'm like, what? And he's like, he's like, I'm so tired of it. He goes, people call me all the time and just having to do this and that. And he goes, man, it's is, is he goes, it's, it's not your route ain't fun. And I'm just like, well, that was my route for the last like I don't know five years. So you know, I was used to it, but but whatever. But then it just you know, he pulls away, we pull away, and it was just like. <sighs> yep. <laughs> let's go to our next stop. Let's go to we went to the UPS store next. Let's yeah. go take our UPS in because yeah. it was like it just it just feels good. And I I you know I want him and I want everybody to find their joy. It's not that I'm uh, I'm not entertained by the fact that he's having a hard time with it. No, I'm just relieved that we're realizing you know, how blessed we are. How blessed and yeah. fortunate that we are to be in this position. So, believe me, I want nothing but the best for my old coworkers. I want them. I want. I want them all to be happy. I want everybody to be happy. That's my place in this world. Is I don't. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. I don't care if you're whatever. I don't care if you're a believer or non-believer. I mean, I do care, but even if you're non-believer or whatever, I don't care. I want you to be happy. I want you to find your joy. I want you to live every day with purpose and with feeling like you're meant for something. So it could because you are, everyone is. So, um, I'm on a soapbox here, but whatever. So anyway, I've been rambling a long time. 
And remember, we're supposed to make these videos shorter. So that's what our They're supposed said. to be shorter. They're yeah. supposed to be short. So we better wrap things up. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for now. If you like the video, if you're still watching to this point, then you got to like it. because Our you, last you're, minute crew, as <laughs> Kayla would say. If you're still watching now, you have to like it. So you might as well hit the like button. So thumbs um, up. Yeah. Thumbs Leave up. Subscribe. Comments. Leave us a comment. Give us some yeah. feedback so we know how we're doing. Right. And uh, just stay tuned because we will get something else out for you. And uh, we'll, we'll post something. Whatever. We Believe me, in this job, we don't know what the next day or what the next week especially is going to hold. And I oh. know that was coming. <laughs> You're not even subtle about it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you all. And we need to get back to work. Though. Yes, so. we do. So, yeah, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are Happy Heart Treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. <laughs>